Not necessarily known to get grand finals of singles frequently, but right. you would definitely expect to see them in grand finals of teams. Yeah, you 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 straight up expect it yeah. at this point. It's like, wow, these guys are just you know that good. And so I think they're actually taking on Plup and Axe, I believe, yeah. who took That's out Slox and Swedish. That's so. It's not a... Uh, Okay. Okay, so it looks like we're already into game one here of HBox and M2K versus Lucky and Reno. Lucky Reno. Already a big lead for HBox and M2K. Yeah, and M2K just came off of uh, actually winning teams in Smash 4 mm. uh, literally just 10 minutes ago. Uh, okay, who do you team with? Team with Ally. I and see. So that, was a, that was, I think, impressive. They beat Anti and, yeah. and uh, Larry, and also Zero and Nairo got third. Ooh, uh, okay. So, yeah. you know, that was really... St so, Mute King... Definitely a good run. ...feeling really good about that. And, you know, we know Mute King is a very emotionally charged sort of player. Yeah. Um, Builds off momentum a lot, for right. sure. And even across games, right. for sure. So, And uh, I, I think that's a testament to how good of a team player he is in general, in that general, he was able yeah. to take it in uh, Smash 4. Yep. I gotta say, that up smash uh, out of shield from Hbox to back here from Mute King was really sick. Yeah. This is also probably just like, because like, of the three teams in, Ooh. of the three te uh, of the four teams in winter semis, I should say, this is like Lucky and Reno's probably the easiest. So this is gonna yep. give uh, you know Mute King and Hbox some time to like warm up together and get their, get right. their real team synergy and, and yeah. sync. Yeah, they definitely want to get that chemistry going. Right. And uh, so far, it's looking pretty good for them. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, nice uh, sequence of up airs there from Lucky, but uh, this this deficit pretty significant right now. Yeah. It's gonna take a lot more than that. Right. They have. Uh, I mean, the thing that I think the hallmark of Mute King and Hbox, even as singles players, is just like how they can uh, kill Ooh. you almost instantly. Sometimes it feels yeah. like you just lose the stock for no reason. Right. And Reno accidentally edge hawks his teammate Lucky there, and that's gonna be pretty huge at yeah. this stage of the game. Looking like a game one victory for Hbox and M2K. Yep. Oh, went for the grab rest. That'll. Yep. That'll do it. And so a very quick game one, especially since we joined halfway through. Yep. <laughs> and it looks like uh, Lucky and Reno are going to have to do some strong counterpicking here to bring this one back. Yeah. I am not sure whether, is this two out of three or three out of five? I, be I believe it's three out of five. So uh, no counter or no bans on the part right. of HBox and M2K. We might we might honestly just know based on the counterpick. Like yeah. If they go to, I feel like, so, like for example, Lucky and Reno, if they if they uh, if they win a game and we see Dreamland, that's almost certainly going to be a ban, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would expect H Hbox and MCK to probably ban some like Stadium. Oh, they're Ooh, going to okay. Stadium, so yeah. So I'm guessing no bans. Looking right. like a three out of five. Yeah. <coughs> okay. They got to do something about um. They got to find a way to basically kill. And it seems like, you know, especially with a fox running around, like, it's kind of on the... It's like the onus of the fox to either not get killed yeah. uh, quickly and also get up smash kills and right, right. up rubber kills, yeah. That's kind of the whole balancing act as, as fox and teams is you're so susceptible to dying early, but you also can kill very early, so... Right, in ways that other people can't. Exactly. So, so you want to get those kills, but you also want to avoid those deaths. Right, yeah, so it's pretty much all unlucky at that point. Yeah. And, you know, it's up to Reno to just... Ooh, is that good? Yeah, wow, that's yeah. that clutch. Back air off the top. Interesting. Um, and M2K just waits it out, sitting on the ledge, as we're used to seeing. Yeah. Rest from HBox, not going to be too much here. Um, oh. oh, and then the grab attempt Yeah, that was from Reno. Gets crouched. Almost, um, almost don't even blame him. I mean, that was just like a slightly slow reaction. Yeah, I mean, he, he could have got the grab if he was a couple frames sooner, but... Right. Interesting also, we see Hbox go for these, like that up tilt to rest, I mean, uh, Lucky's oh, also at a really low percent when he went for that. Yeah, what and a stock from Hbox and M2K on Lucky there. Um, yeah, that was brutal. They they covered both sides of the platform so that Hbox was ready in case H uh, Lucky either missed the tech or tech in place or rolled to the right, and then it, M2K just had the, the forward air ready for the left roll. So. Right, right, right. Such a good team setup. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I was going to say, Hbox's thing is that it looks like he's really just, he's down to just throw out rest even when he's not 100% sure if it'll work. Like, yeah. he's almost doing them a little bit on prediction because he knows that it's not a big deal to miss a rest of teams. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, M2K, like, especially thing. with a character that has a, a projectile like a needle, it's very uh, light, doesn't do too much damage, and it's yeah. pretty much the ideal projectile to wake Puff up from a uh, rest, so. Right. Definitely a, a good team sparing here. Wow! Oh, from the M2K. spawn platform. 
Great awareness from M2K and also yeah. from HBox, who might have actually hit him up there on purpose. So. Yeah, wouldn't wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah. And so, uh, looking very dominant for HBox and M2K so far. Lucky and Reno haven't been able to get within four stocks so far. No. Lucky pushing all kind of buttons, but this is uh might be too little too late for this game too. Yeah, I mean uh, against characters like Sheik and Jigglypuff, as soon as you have some kind of big commitment on one, the other one can punish you, so right. it makes it very tough in this 2v1 situation. Okay, dash attack to slap from N2K. Lucky actually did a decent job of uh, you know doing what he could there. I mean, right. it took a while for them to actually secure that kill, but yeah. definitely too little too late at that point in time. And so M2K and HBox with dominant games one and two so far. Lucky and Reno really going to need to make some adjustments here going into game three to not have the same outcome happen. That's right. And it's tough to say what those adjustments might be against players like HBox and M2K. I mean, uh, the thing about teams is singles skill doesn't always translate over, so you can't just take the sum of HBox and singles and M2K and singles and say that's how good they are in teams. But both of these players are so good at teams anyway yeah. that uh, it pretty much is that sum of their singles skill. Yeah, um, yeah, it definitely seems that way. So uh, they look and, and, and they know, you know, they know how to take what they do in singles and sort of amplify the, the parts that are um, that are better in doubles. Like for example, right. we see Xbox went for these rests willy yeah. nilly where it's like, you know, in singles, yeah, he's gotta be careful if he misses one. Yeah, definitely. Could be curtains for him, but yeah. he knows that it's a different story in doubles. He can be as as loose with them as he wants. Right. Uh, and M2K, you know, he'll play by the ledge and you know he'll 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 opt for an even more sort of gimp based playstyle sometimes, knowing that he doesn't have to go onto the stage because Hbox is sort of handling business. Yeah. I do like the counter pick of FD though. Uh, gives them a little bit of room to work with, as well as the fact that uh, Hbox does not have the platform tech chase and follow ups that he's so good at. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I really like this stage versus uh, Puff in particular. Yeah. Okay, Hbox. Okay. Tried to get over there to save M2K, but Lucky did a great job bearing him back out. And now this right. is a pretty even game so far. Hbox covering from Mute King as he transforms back. Yeah. So, sort of little known fact, if you are on the spawn platform of Zelda, you turn back to Sheik, or vice versa, you lose your invincibility immediately yeah. as soon as you do the transform. So. Yeah, so you're punishable from there. And that should be Lucky Stock. Yeah, and but oh, Hbox almost died from the Uppy trade, yes. but still living. So he's at four, and this game is slowly but surely slipping into green team's favor. Yeah. Especially with that up throw rest. As you see, yeah, that's really brutal. Yeah. And Lucky did his best to DI that rest, almost survived it, but barely died. So that's going to be huge at this point. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Almost another rest from uh, Hbox there. And I like how he up threw Sheik, but knew that he couldn't follow up, so he left that to M2K while he focused on Lucky. Yep. Very smart stuff. Okay. And roll out SD from HBox. He knows he's got a couple stocks to give right now, but yeah. um, is, this isn't out of the realm of possibility for Red Team just yet, so. Yeah, not not anymore. This is only really a one stock deficit right now. Yeah. So. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that would have been really big. Yeah. Ooh, and oh, that's nice. really big. Yeah. Okay. Lucky probably going to die there, though. Yeah. So uh, I think at that point, it's arguably worth it, though, to take that stock from HBox that early. Sure. Ooh, and Reno goes down. So now it's going to take some really slick play from both Reno and Lucky to bring this one back. Yeah, but wow, what DI from Mute King. I yeah, that was insane that he survived. Yeah, I thought for sure he'd be dead at a freaking 151. Yeah. Insane, and he's still living right now, so it's it's one thing to DI something really well, but if you die as soon as you get back, it doesn't mean too much, right? But M2K yeah. is still keeping on from that DI. Yeah, so. that's crazy. Up throw, gets up back here instead. Of course, you want, you'd want it up there, there but... Yeah. Ooh, and another rollout attempt from HBox. Yep. Um, Lucky that unable one. to punish. Oh my god, yeah. he dropped so low. Yeah. And that's going to be it for Lucky. Oh, man. And M2K going Zelda. Oh, and he's going to get the Zelda spike. Wow. 